Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use WordPress with Gatsby as a content management system for our Gatsby.js projects. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn how to do it. Okay, in the previous section of the course, I have showed you how we can use Markdown files to add articles to our blog and how to list them. Now, in this section, I'm going to show you how we can use a WordPress website to source articles to our blog. So, in order to do that, we first need to install the WordPress source plugin. So, let's go ahead to gatsbyjs.org and go to plugins. And here we would uh, want to type WordPress. And if you see that gatsby-source-wordpress one important thing that i want to mention is that whenever you have source in your plugin that means that this plugin can uh, source data for you uh, for example from content management systems or uh, whatever you can uh, try uh, uh, searching for source plugins here and you can see how many types of uh, plugins uh, for sorting your da data you have. So now let's go ahead and uh, install this uh, plugin on our Gatsby.js project. Uh, let's scroll down and let's copy the npm install. And first let's uh, stop our uh, project here and paste the npm install. And let's wait for this to uh, finish uh, installing. Okay, now that we have installed our WordPress sourcing plugin, it is time to configure it in Gatsby config.js file. So let's go ahead and open it and uh, let's resolve our plugin here. Uh, let's uh, type resolve and provide Gatsby source WordPress. And for our plugin, we would uh, want to provide some options. We would need the base URL of the uh, WordPress blog that we're going to use. I'm going to use uh, Coding SRC, which is my blog where I publish. So let's go ahead and uh, provide options. And uh, here we would want to provide base URL with uh, the URL of our WordPress website. So coding src.com now we would need to also provide uh, the protocol that we are using currently we are not using uh, https uh, however if you uh, try to use https make sure it's not a self-signed uh, uh, certificate otherwise you're going to have some uh, issues uh, while compiling your gatsby.js project so now let's uh, provide the protocol protocol to be HTTP and uh, now we would want to tell our plugin whether or not uh, this is hosted on our own website or it's hosted on uh, wordpress.com I'm currently hosting on my own website on my own server uh, so we would want to provide uh, hosting wp.com with capital letters and here we can provide a, either true or false so this is going to be false okay so let's format this and now let's uh, run Gatsby develop Okay, first while you're compiling your project, you might uh, run in uh, those kinds of error. Don't worry about them right now. They are uh, just uh, sections of your website where uh, you're not authorized to fetch data from. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see in our GraphQL what we're going to be able to fetch. So let's copy this and I'm going to open it in Chrome and now here you're going to be able to get all WordPress posts and from here you can get the notes from that posts from all of the posts and here you can get the slug uh, let's 
let's get the slug and let's get the title. So let's run this. And as you can see, we have uh, gotten the slugs and the titles of our four blog posts that we have currently. If you like this video, smack the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. If you want to learn more about Gatsby, click on the link below this video where you're going to go to my full course on Gatsby.js. So see you next time.